Hey everyone, so this is how to do the daily vitals for EHR Go. So you're going to start within the assignment, click the link, it's going to open up your EHR Go. And let me go over to the student side. So you can download this activity. If you download that, it will tell you um, what you need to do. So if you download the activity, it'll tell you you need to collect a temperature, a pulse, a respiration, blood pressure, blood pressure, excuse me, pulse ox. Um, you can do the pain scale, um, but you definitely need to do the height and weight. If you want to do a pain scale on uh, one of your patients, I'm cool with that. It's a good method to um, practice, especially because if you, most of you guys will end up in a hospital setting, um, either within Sutter or Kaiser, and so you may uh, have to use those. And so it's good practice to, to ask, uh, get in the habit of asking patients those questions. You do not need to do the BMI calculator, so don't worry about I. You're going to click on the vital signs uh, and portfolio and launch the portfolio chart, but you're going to have an extra step, which I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay? So that's your uh, activity document. So we're going to go back over to the description for your assignment. So here I did not include the pain uh, assessment, but again, you can do that if you want to. You do not need to do the uh, BMI. You do need to make sure that three of your blood pressures are manual blood pressures, and you're only using the Wally for one uh, automatic blood pressure. Now, when you're doing your three manual blood pressures, if you want to double check them with the automatic cuff on the Wally afterwards, you can to verify, um, but make sure you're doing three manuals before you do your Wally, okay? You need to make sure you're doing your uh, respirations and your pulses on all four patients, that you're doing your pulse oximetries and your height, weight, and temperature and so on on all four patients as well. Okay, so we're going to click out, so we go over to the chart, and you're going to launch EHR. Now this process is the same for all four patients, okay? So you need to click the link out of this assignment for all four patients. You can't just keep doing it from the same one, um, or you can, but you need to click a new session for each of the four patients. So this is what you're going to do. You're going to click new session, And this is what is not on your activity document, but what I would like for you to do. Click New Session, go down to Accounts, and go to Registration. And the only thing I want you to do in Registration is, um, oh, hold on, go to Edit and put in your patient's first name. So if Maita was my patient for this uh, set of vitals, I would put her in there. Then you're going to go up and go to Vitals, click New, and then you're going to put in this whole set of vitals, okay? So um, you would put in all of the vitals, oral, pulse, 88. I took a radial pulse. I palpated that pulse, so I felt it uh, with my fingers. I didn't listen with the stethoscope. You need to make sure you understand the difference between palpate, auscultate, and uh, Doppler. You won't be using a Doppler in this class. She was sitting when I did it. There was no, um, she didn't have any bounding or uh, any arrhythmias to be felt, so I'm not going to put any description there. She had a respiration rate of 14. Oh, nope, no crazy stuff there. Uh, blood pressure, 118 over 76. And I took that on her right arm. She was sitting. Her pulse ox was 99, so she's good there. None of these apply, so she's good there. Um, I did ask her about her pain. She was no pain. I 
I did not use the Wong Baker scale because she was able to verbalize that she was not in any pain. Hundred and thirty two pounds. She's five two, so we have to do it in inches, so I'm gonna do sixty two inches. And did not measure her head circumference because she's an adult and we're not doing BMIs. I and O's we don't do uh for outpatient uh, doctor's office usually. Did not do her blood glucose reading. So um the quick survey you can skip over because that is not part of the vitals. So, I'm going to save that. Looks like we are good to go there. I'm going to close this session out and download my work for her. And now I can see that your first patient that this first patient was Mita and she had these vitals. So you will upload, end up uploading four documents to each of your daily vital signs uh, activities. Okay. And um, that's pretty much how this will go. So now you would go back in to the daily, the daily, to your EHR Go. Click back to your launch EHR. Click a new session. Go down to account, click on registration, click edit, and then put your next patient in. And then uh, do the same thing again. Click save, go back up to the health tab, and then put uh, a new set of vitals in for that patient. You would put all of those in. Uh, click save and then go in and download that set of vitals uh, as well and then upload them to Canvas. So that's pretty much how you're going to do this for your daily sets of vitals. If you have any questions, let me know uh, in class and we'll get you squared away. Thanks.